Welcome back. As we head into the final few days of 2012, we have our favorite astrologer, Georgia Nichols, in studio. Uh, with a look ahead, Georgia's going to be here with us all morning, once an hour, looking at four signs every hour. So first of all, thanks for being here. Oh, it's a pleasure. A pleasure. And I should tell everybody that in the province newspaper today is a, an entire pullout section that has an in-depth look at every sign. So if you don't catch it here, can get it in the province. For 2013? Yes. By the way, <clears throat> there's always aspects between the planets, meaning that a certain moment or a certain day or a certain week has this feeling or has this feeling. Well, right now this morning, and it's building up until about 9.45, but it's virtually here now, Sun is sextile Saturn. And what that means, the Sun is all sort of our aim and our purpose, and Saturn is very practical and, and concerned with long-range practical hmm. things in the future. So we could not have picked a better time to discuss on television or anywhere. Even if people aren't watching this show right now, they're at home still thinking about their future. Hmm, interesting. Like, yeah, it's a perfect time to get serious about this. So, right. so we begin with Aries? Yes, Aries. Okay. Aries, okay. Aries from 1996 until 2003 were basically reinventing themselves. Around 2010, they then in the last couple of years, they ended a period where relationships were challenging, and they know that. And now, coming into 2013 and into 14 as well, they are going to have to deal with less, less support. Uh, support from others will be diminished or even removed. On the other hand, fear not, uh, really it's boot camp training for them because mm. they're getting ready to come to a big career peak in about 2018. Oh. And so this is just a toughening time. And I see that they're going to have a wonderful home life. So this is a good time coming up this year for real estate deals for Aries, and their home life is just going to be happier and they're going to feel enriched. Taurus. Now, Taurus is really, this is a very significant time for Taurus. In 1999 was a major year, and then 2013, these are the bookends. Hmm. So 1999, they sort of began a whole new world, and now, in 2013, they're sort of stepping up. They've, they've reinvented themselves, they've figured out what they're doing in life, and now they want to prove to the world what they can do. And they will be able to do that, but while they get this increased strength, it's going to, mm, you have Taurus in your family, mm -hmm. but is, is it your husband? My husband, yeah. Ooh, okay. <laughs> this oh. is a problematic time for partnerships for Taurus. And it's because they are flexing their muscles. And so their partners are going like, hey, it didn't used to be like this before, you know. <laughs> and they're not going to go back and be their old way. They're coming stronger and more forward. But again, relationships that are meant to endure will last, but they're going to have to make readjustments. But poor relationships are going to bite the dust. Fortunately, Tauruses can be making more money. They're going to earn more money for that sure. That is a good thing. Yes. Gemini. Gemini is starting the year off strong because Jupiter is in their sign. It's going to stay in their sign until the summer. They're going to feel uh, strong. They're going to feel confident. And they're going to get stronger and more confident in 2013 because many of the Geminis didn't feel the, the boost last year. They're, it's coming a little later. Uh, and they're going to work hard this year. They're working hard. They'll have increased responsibilities, but they will start to get recognition for what they're doing. It's a good time. And then later, later even in 2013 and certainly 2014, Gemini makes more money as well. Wow. Everyone's yeah. making more money. Well, for these first signs, that's because Jupiter's just going through where they are. Cancer. Cancer has a lot to look forward to because in the middle of this year, in 2013, by July, by their birthday, Jupiter comes into their own sign for the first time in 12 years. So this, this will boost their confidence for the year. Everything comes from good fortune comes to them, so all kinds of things, even maybe gain, they could gain weight. In other words, things come to them, right. Uh, they will have increased responsibilities with children. They'll be feeling very serious about love affairs and relationships. That part of their life is kind of serious. And I think secretly a lot of cancers are going to be thinking, what do I really want to be when I grow up? Mm -hmm. That's sort of a, a basic thing that's going to trigger with them. And will they make that decision this year? Actually, I doubt it. I think that they'll fumble with it for the next year to 18 months or so, and then we see by 2015 they're working hard, so they seem to clue in by then. They've right? got it sorted yes. out. It takes a while. All of these are just trends, mm -hmm. right? Okay, transition. Right. Interesting. All right, the first four are our next four coming up in an hour, so make sure you stay with us for those. Thanks Absolutely. so much, Georgia. And once again, if you uh, want an in-depth look, the province has a pull-out section that has every single sign in it and um, everything that uh, you ever wanted to know about your sign, what's coming up in the next year, and uh, who celebrates your birthday with you. Thanks, Georgia. We'll see you Thanks. in an hour. Absolutely.